All right, so let's go ahead and get started on our actual UI now. So we can close down app.js for now. We're going to be working out the home screen for a moment. Um, and what I'll start by doing is getting rid of this align item center and justify content center from the existing container style we already had. And if I save it, it should move these up to there. Doesn't look great, I know, but we'll fix it. Um, well, in fact, we actually don't want these, uh, the text or the button, so get rid of those two. And just to show you what kind of thing we're working towards, I'll, uh, I'll put it on screen now. This is the kind of UI we're looking at. Um, so yeah, the first thing we'll do is in there, we'll add a view, and the style of this, so I'll set some style equals, and it's gonna be styles.language, uh, language container. Oops, language, make sure we've got uppercase C there, language container. And I'll copy that name, and I'll go ahead and create that block of style now. I won't style it yet, but I'll just add that. In there, we'll create our buttons. Now, because uh, the built-in button element um, is, looks so different on an Android device versus an iOS device, we're gonna create our own custom component. So, in here, we need to add the text, but text isn't really clickable, so we'll need to add it inside of a touchable uh, opacity element. Make sure you import this from React Native and not any of these two. So, React Native right there, adds the import like that. Uh, Put the closing tag on like that, and inside there, we'll just add some text. And for now, the text can just be English or something. We're gonna copy that and paste it below like that, and this can just be any other language. Just It's just something to see while we're working like that. And then underneath there, we'll put the icon. Uh, you see there's an, an arrow icon between the two, so we'll make sure to add that now. And we can get that, so we'll put a view in there Another view like that. Jeez, I can't type today. A view. And then the icon is going to be um, an arrow. Is an arrow right? Can I type that? I'll just put arrow for now and we'll go from there. Um, we'll use this arrow here from Ant Design. So I'll click that. I'll copy the import. And I'll go back to here and add that at the top like that. And then uh, I can take the, I the icon like this. So back to VS Code. Uh, I can paste it in inside that view. Okay, so if I save that, you should see we get these. Of course, there's no style on these yet, but we'll get to it. So the color, we don't want to use black here. We're going to use a light gray color. So what I'll do is open up my colors um, file, and I'll add a light uh, gray, oops, light gray like this. And then I'll do a pound sign and D E D E D E. I always remember this color because it reminds me of uh, King Dedede, the, the character from um, the Kirby series. So I'll always remember this color. Anytime I want to add a gray, I just start with D D D. Um, so yeah. Anyway, in color, I'm going to add this uh, there and say colors, which should add the import like that when I pressed enter. And it did. Dot light gray, and if I save it now, you should see it turn to a very light gray, which I think is pretty similar to the one in the in the actual UI for the Google Translate app. Okay, cool. Let's fix this and add some style to these. We'll start with the touchable opacity ones. I'll start by uh, adding some style equals. So I've just moved on to the line, the line below. Uh, style equals styles dot language option. And then underneath that, oops, underneath that, I'm going to put on press, and I'll just set that to a, a function, oops, a function like this. And for now, I'll just say console.log uh, pressed. All right. So what I'll do is copy that whole touchable opacity um, top element to uh, opening tag, I should say, and replace this one down here like that. Now, if I save it, I mean we don't have any style on that yet, but if I press any of these. You should see pressed in the console below. So just by pressing those now, we get the on press firing. So let's take this language option style tag and create an empty style block for it. And we'll do the same for the font container real quick and then we'll come and style them. So style equals styles dot uh, arrow container. Okay, so I'll take the arrow container and I'll scroll down to here and underneath the language option style, I'll just add that style like that. So let's go ahead and do the language container one first. So this is the container that surrounds all of these elements. The first thing we'll do is say flex direction is going to be row. We should put them all in line with each other once I save it, and it did. 
We're also going to say align items uh, center and then justify content is also center. And that should center them like that. Great. In language option, we're going to say flex one, which should make the both these options take the full width of the page. Now it has worked, but this one over here is left aligned. They're both left aligned, so you can't see that it's also over here. So what we need to do is also uh, justify content and align items in the center. So I've copied those two or type them out again. It's up to you. I'm just lazy. I'll give it a save and you can see they're in the center now. And then we'll also just finally do padding, uh, vertical, it's just going to be 15. Give that a save and it should add some padding now. And I'm just thinking about it. We don't actually need the align items uh, just for content on there. So I can actually get rid of those. Yeah, so we don't need those on language container. We only need them on language option. I don't think that'll do anything. Let me save it real quick just to be sure. Okay, it has, uh, it has moved that, but we'll add these two on the arrow container real, real soon. So don't worry about that. What we do need though on a language container, these ones I, I forgot to add. We're going to say border um, bottom color is going to be this colors dot light gray that we just added, the DDD one. And then we'll also say border bottom width is going to be just one. Okay, give that a save. We should get a nice little border underneath. It's looking good, guys. Um, if I scroll down to arrow container now, I'm going to set the width to 50. Give that a save. You can't really see, of course, because there's a transparent background or a white background. But um, if you did want to check while you're working, you could just temporarily set a color of something else just so you can see what you're dealing with. So this just makes it easy to see what the actual element bounds are. So and in there, we're just going to finish off by uh, setting these two align item center and then just for content center like that. If I save it, you'll see it's pushed down to the center, both horizontally and vertically. And then I can go ahead and remove this background color red. Like I said, we only put that there just while you're working. So those colors, those uh, texts should actually be blue. So we actually do need another one. We'll, we'll uh, add some style called language option uh, text like this, oops, text. And then um, all we're going to do is set the color here. That can be colors.primary. Save that and they should turn blue. And they did they? Oh no, I haven't. <laughs> I've created the style, but I haven't hooked it up yet. So I'll go back up to um, the actual text elements and I need to set this so style equals styles dot language option text. Let me copy that and paste it below in this text element as well. Now if I save it, they'll turn blue. Um, cool. So let's also just set one of our custom fonts on that. So font family. Let's just set this to regular. You won't see much of a change there. Um, and then also I'll just set letter spacing. Let's set this to 0 0.3, which should push the letters apart ever so slightly like that. Great. Cool. I think that's pretty cool. We've done the uh, the language inputs. They don't do anything yet other than just um, print press to the terminal. If I click it, you'll see pressed appears. But these, of course, will be where um, you can select the language.